this is my bulked up algal culture that I've had growing under a 24 hour light source for the last two to three weeks. I just used a hydroponic nutrient to make the starter culture for the algae and it seems to have worked really well. And now I have a very thick soupy algal culture, which is ready to go to make algal balls. I'm just gonna remove the air stone that I used to keep the culture aerated while it was growing. And I'm going to pour out about 500 mils of my bulked up algal culture into this 500 milliliter conical flask. Now, although this looks really thick, it's not thick enough to make really good algal balls. So you need to leave this conical flask without air, without aeration, for about a day until the algae settles out of the solution into the bottom of the flask. This is one that I prepared earlier. And you can see that at the bottom of the flask, there is now a layer of uh, thick algae that is settled out of the solution. And this is what we were going to use to make our algal balls. So I've pre-made some sodium alginate, a 2% solution, and put it into this specimen jar. This is about five mils of sodium alginate, and I'm gonna add 10 mils of our algae that it was, that, that was in that layer at the bottom of the conical flask. I screw the lid on tightly and give the specimen jar a really good shake until you have a nice homogeneous solution of algae, or algal, algal culture, and sodium alginate. Now I've set up an open syringe above a 250 ml beaker of calcium chloride. Going to let our sodium alginate and algae solution just drip down out of the syringe into the calcium chloride solution. It's a 2% solution of calcium chloride. And you can see as it drips out of the syringe, it forms perfect little balls which are immobilizing our algae ready to do experiments with. This amount of algae and sodium alginate will leave us with about 150 to 200 algal balls. Just speeding it up a little bit there. Now, you just need to leave them in the calcium chloride solution for about five to 10 minutes so that the balls are really solid before pouring your solution out into a sieve. And then give the balls a really good rinse with some distilled water. I'm really pleased with how these have turned out. There's enough algal balls here for probably a few groups to do experiments with, depending on what it is they're testing. And just pour them into a nice clean 250 ml beaker. Add some more distilled water. And if you cover this beaker in glad wrap, these will stay fine in the fridge at about four degrees for a few weeks until you're ready to use them with your class.